but half of my vlogs always seem to take place here at the Anaheim Convention Center. It's usually because I struggle to find content and it's like, well, I'm going to the convention center for WonderCon or VidCon or any of the other things. There's like three or four things I come to this convention center for throughout the year. And today, it happens to be VidCon. We're going to ignore the fact that I'm running late today. It's like six o'clock. The exhibit hall is going to close in just a little bit. I just got my badge. It's my own fault, I'm late. But we'll, we'll get to that later. Right now, we're just going to hit the exhibit hall and take a look at what's inside. And then tomorrow, I've got a bunch of panels and tracks I'm gonna hit up. Valley Film Festival on Sunday. Thursday, maybe because it's the end of the day and all the booths are shutting down, but I'm getting kicked out. So I'll have to hit this up tomorrow because I've barely seen anything in here today. I'm taking off already. I've only been here about three-ish hours and I really, really came at the tail end of things. I mentioned earlier that I was out way too late. I should have been here like eight in the morning, maybe 10 in the morning, and I got here <laughs> a little after five o'clock. So I wanna talk really briefly about the fact that I haven't been vlogging lately. And I kind of feel like VidCon is the perfect opportunity to get this started again. Honestly, it's been me. It's It's been in here. I've been in my own head and I haven't been able to get out. Back in March, right as I was leaving my day job, I was doing really good. I was uploading consistently. And then I shot a few things in April and then I never, edited them. It's it's this weird thing where I resist editing. I, I don't want to sit down and edit. Once I'm editing, I'm fine. I'm loving it. I've forgotten how much I love it, but I'm, I'm resistant and hesitant to get in there to begin with. I've talked to other creators. They're kind of the same way sometimes. When all of a sudden you've got multiple episodes you've shot and in the backlog, the resistance to edit gets even worse. Once I hit May, I started having all the money that I, I, I didn't leave the job with a huge savings. And the money that I had saved up was beginning to run out and I was starting to get anxious about work. So suddenly my YouTube channel shifted down in priority and which only made it harder for me to sit down and edit and the more behind I got, the less I wanted to put the content out, and the more depressed I felt. And then the more depressed I felt, the more I just wanted to escape into video games and watching television and consuming instead of creating. And it just became this, this spiral that I'm still trying to dig my way out of. I'm going to eventually get to some of the other stuff I shot. I need to shoot some new stuff, but I wanted to use VidCon 
and being here at VidCon as an excuse and a reason to start vlogging again. I have to get back in there and I need to be consistent in putting stuff out. I really want to focus on this channel and make this a, a full-time thing where I'm actually generating income from sharing my life with you. I just, when I'm stuck in the apartment, because all I have to do is like laptop stuff, I'm not doing anything with my day that's vlog worthy. And I need to change that too. If I don't have any plans to do something, I'm going to have to create something to always go somewhere and fly my drone, take a photo. I, I need to be doing more creative stuff. I need to force myself. But for right now, it's 8.30. It'll take me about an hour to get back. I'll have just enough time to hit Hugo's Tacos. And I've kind of been craving it. So I think tonight, tonight I'm going to hit it up and I'm going to show you what I'm going to have. Ago, I came here on a food run for when my cousin Emily was visiting and she was craving SoCal tacos and I picked up some carnitas hard shell tacos with honey chipotle salsa. Now when you order a, a taco or a burrito here at Hugo's Tacos you have a few different salsa choices and they range in, in different flavors and, and heat sensitivities and the honey chipotle is kind of in the middle on the heat but it's got that bit of kick mixed in with a bit of sweet and the instant I had these I was hooked so this entire last week I've been craving this and tonight tonight I decided to treat myself these have very quickly become my favorite tacos in Los Angeles 